today is one of the oldest railroad rights of way in the entire world. It was given to the Stratford Railroad on June 9, 1832 by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in response to the Philadelphia and Columbia Railroad bypassing the town of Stratford on its way west. By 1958, the Strasburg Railroad saw traffic that was in such decline that it was going to be abandoned. The railroad was saved by local rail enthusiasts when they purchased the line, revamped it to haul passenger and freight train. We are blessed to be one of the first tourist railroads in the entire United States. Which sprung out, which sprung up a movement in rail trans and rail preservation across the United States. As we start to head out of East Stratford Yard, you will notice on the left-hand side of the train several rows of brightly colored cabooses. This belongs to the Red Caboose Motel in Casey Jones Restaurant. This is one of the few places in the entire world where you can actually stay in a hotel overnight in an authentic railroad caboose. Fairview Crossings next. Fairview. Thank you very much. Wonderful, you guys are all set. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Great, you're all set. Enjoy your trip. Okay. Okay, enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> Strasburg Railroad is a living and breathing working museum. All of our profits that are made by today's train trip are put right back into the beautiful railroad cars that you are seeing now. The oldest rail car on our train today dates from 1896. And that would be our open air car, that Hello Don. All of these cars have been painstakingly restored by our skilled craftsmen in our shop back to their original splendor from around the turn of the century. Many of them came here in states of considerable disrepair or even partially burnt down from fire. The work that they do in our shop is truly amazing and we are thankful for their hard work and dedication each and every day. Coming up on the running left hand side of the train is Espen Shade Turkey Farm, one of the oldest commercially operated turkey farms in the United States as verified by Poultry World Magazine. And yes folks, there really is indeed a Poultry World Magazine. <laughs> Thank you. 
many questions that we get on our train today is how fast are we actually traveling? Well, the oldest timetable that we've been able to find for our railroad was found in the Stratford P newspaper dated August of 1852. We still follow that same basic schedule today, so if you've ever wondered how fast Grand Grandpa traveled, this is it. Definitely somewhere under 100 miles an hour. <laughs> In actuality, we typically travel anywhere from 15 to 20 miles on our trip to Paradise and anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour on our return trip. Outside our train, we'll both be running the right hand left side are beautiful and traditional Lancaster County farmland. We passed almost two dozen of them on our trip out to Paradise today. Another portion of your ticket not only goes to preserving our passenger car, but preserving this beautiful farmland to the Lancaster Farmland Trust. It allows us to truly take you all back in time, back in the days of the horse and buggy and the steam locomotive. Listen closely, maybe that ghost will answer our train. 
I just hear somebody say, Echo? Folks, that's <laughs> no echo. I can assure you, we pay that goes $37.50 a day to sit out there beyond that ridge line and answer our train. <laughs> now, I gotta be honest, none of us here at the Strasburg Railroad have actually seen the goes, but somebody keeps cash on his paycheck, so it must exist, right? <laughs> Speaking of ghosts on the left-hand side of our train in the direction of travel is Park River's Graveyard, the oldest cemetery in Lancaster County. In it is buried Marie Ferry, a French Huguenot who fled France in the early 1700s to escape religious persecution. She and her followers eventually settled here, and it was here that they named their colony Paradise.
by the Philadelphia and Columbia, later the Pennsylvania. In 1898, there were more than 30 scheduled trains that stopped at the now demolished station here at Paradise. <laughs> we will also be switching and traveling around back to East Strasburg. We'll be switching directions. So folks, now is the perfect time to stand up and you can flip the seats. A lot of our cars in coach and open air are equipped with computer style walkover seats, which were popular in the 1930s. So they either slide or they flip. So if you wish to travel forward in the direction of travel, feel free to slide or flip your seats. Now, folks, the locomotive pulling our train today is old number 475. 475 was built in 1906 by the Baldwin Locomotive Company for the Norfolk and Western Railroad in Virginia. 475 narrowly escaped the scrapper's torch before heading into private ownership. In the early 1990s, she was purchased and fully restored by the Strasburg Railroad, where she has operated ever since. 475 is the oldest engine on our roster today. Our engineer and fireman have been working very hard to keep this train on schedule. So feel free to give them a wave as they go past the train on our passing track. If you don't give them away, you might upset them and they might leave us here at Paradise. In that case, it is a long walk back to Strasbourg. Pretty cool so far, right? Like, pretty good. Is that, is that actually like yeah. person that over there? <laughs> what, for the whistle back? Yeah. Alright, that was just the top. That's exactly. Yeah. Here there's enough gold for it to actually still a good ghost story. Are you being crazy? That brings up to you. Like, why are you wearing shorts and flip-flops? Like, you know it's cold out? <laughs> it's 
like, you're being Hey, Bear. Oh yeah, there's train, yeah. Well the the one that went past was the locomotive. He's got full pass. Well this is called a train car.